What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Forever One Ghost here. What's going on Dokkan Hype Squad? It is your boy Forever One coming back at you with some Dokkan battle. Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic week. Christmas is only four days away. So I'm going to ask you all something. Uh, what are you expecting to be eating during your Christmas holidays? Most of the times a lot of people like to cook turkeys, you know, make a lot of gravy and some cool stuff. But let me know in the comments below what you're lo most looking forward to. Me, I'm looking forward to family, being around some great people, of course, some friends and family, of course. Um, just having a lot of great food everywhere to spend it with people and, you know, have, having a good time. That's, that's what you want. So anyway, guys, last night we had a maintenance. We had two maintenance. Uh, they released Ultra Instinct Goku. And a lot of people were asking me, Ghost, wh whoa, why are we getting him so early? And I can only guess, because again, I don't want to assume anything. Uh, they did release some things, and I will explain that later in the video. So let's go ahead and just show the event that's going on right now. So right now, they're doing a ticket summoning event for this Ultra Instinct Goku, as well as for regular summoning stones, where you can go ahead and go on to the festival event now and do some multis or singles, whatever you want to do. Um, if that's what you can do, and also doing a Christmas celebration pack, which nobody has to buy. Don't waste your money on that. Believe me, it's not worth it. Um, I did, so that's why I'm, I'm saying it as well. Um, they are doing a Christmas Express login bonuses where you can get stones, etc. You get uh, a God Stone in the beginning with 10 Dragon Stones in the beginning of the event of this, which was yesterday. So if you guys haven't gotten those, you should get that and get yourself Super Saiyan 3 Goku or whatever cards you want. But I would say Super Saiyan 3 Goku because obviously they're going to be coming. Out, they're going to be coming out with the 140 uh, event for him, so it'll be awesome to do kind of waken him. And also, he is a monster. Uh, also, there are some cards you can do kind of waking, which I will be showing to you here. Um, there are the six characters you can do kind of waking, which is Nova Shinron, uh, Cooler, Meta, <clears throat> Goku Super Saiyan, Vegeta Super Saiyan 2, Evil Majin Buu, Strength, and of course, Bojack, which is, not Bojack, pardon me, I called him Bojack, wow. <laughs> that's, that's one for the record books. Of course, Android 13, which is which is awesome of course you need the ultimate clash metal see as you see here you need a uh, some of that to do kind of wake super saiyan to vegeta and to his transcended 120 and of course for nova shinron as well it gets to 120 android 13 which is the fusion turns into this metacora and then another fusion android 13 the int and of course the evil strength boo and of course the goku which of course transcends which is the Goku that fought cooler when he became meta cooler and turns into this. So very awesome cards you can do kind of awaken as well as the special missions you can do for Dragon Stones. Uh, also, this is the way you can get these Dragon Stones. Now, I'm not sure if we get them daily, which I'm gonna safely 1 million percent assume that we might be. So it started uh, yesterday. So today's the 21st, so this ends on January of the 1st, which is the new year. So I'm guessing we're gonna get them through the whole week, including these uh, Dragon Stones. So I'm guessing that's what's gonna happen here. Um, again, I don't wanna assume anything, but that's what my best guess is that we're gonna be getting these stones to do that. So that'll be pretty awesome to see. And of course, to get these stones so we can get some cool uh, units. Now again, these tickets may not or may not be in that order, I guess, or it may not be going through the whole week, but if it does, then I guess I'm right, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Of course, the category uh, that everybody was asking me about with Ultra Instinct is the Realm of Gods. Now, in order to get those tickets, you need to do any of these events here, which is the Seventh Universe God of Destruction, Beyond God, The Ultimate Secret, Blazing Blue Fusion, Beautiful Rose, Colored Terror, Eternal God of this Order of Worlds, and of course, Surpassing Even the Gods. Now, if you do any of these events, you're more than likely are going to get one of these rewards. Of course, if you do it one time, you get one ticket. If you do it three times, you get one ticket. If you do it five times, you get two. If you do it seven, you get two. And then the last one, you do it ten times, you get four. Now, if you save them up, you can do some singles, of course, through the single ticket summon banner. And of course, if you save up the five, you can do a multi, which gives you, I don't know how many, I think last I saw was about six cards or maybe five. Or if it's more, let me know in the comments below as well, because I could be wrong, but let me know as well to be to be sure. Uh, but that's pretty awesome to see. Uh, and of course, 
uh, as I said before, let's talk about the uh, new added category, which is the one that we were just talking about, Realm of Gods. So I'm gonna kick off Goku Black. Of course, I did max out his essay. A lot of people were asking me why I didn't do it. I'm doing it now. I did it all for him and of course for Super Saiyan Rose. But okay, let's stick with Rose for now. Uh, as you see here, here it is, the Realm of Gods. Now, a lot of people are saying with Ultra Instinct Goku coming in, that this category might be going to uh, LR Blue Vegito. Now, a lot of people are saying because we're gonna get this category first, because we're not gonna get the Potara uh, category in a while until we get Kefla, which is in the future, which probably could be in a few months or maybe even less, I don't know. Again, that's all up to Bandai and what they decide on. So, of course, if you see all these units here, all these God cards, and of course, Whis, Supreme Kai, God Goku, Vegeta Blue, Goku Super Saiyan God, uh, <clears throat> Etc. Etc. The list goes on and on. So these are the cards you can obviously put on a team together with this uh, category that uh, will work very, very well together. I can only assume that's the point of it all. So that'd be pretty sweet. So uh, I could even make a team right now to better e example this. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So what I'll do is I'll change up my hero team, remove them all, and add an all category Super Saiyan like Realm of God characters, which would be him, him, him. Him. Uh, where's Blue Vegeta? Ah, forgot about him. And one more. Who can I add that's a really good unit that I can put in there as well? That's just a, it's a good support unit. Uh, I mean, he's okay, but uh, I'd rather have someone that can support, obviously, because we want a unit that gives all types HP and attack and defense, of course, not only to strength and physical types, but uh, let me see if this one does it. No, he only does it for strength and physical types, and we don't have that. But anyway, I'll just add the Goku guy just to make my point. Uh, so, wait, does this guy have it as well? No, he doesn't. I, 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 he's a fusion, I forgot. Anyway, so, oops, go back down there. All right, so I'll click on that, and this is the Realm of Gods characters. All together, all these guys are all part of the Realm of God characters. As I said before, this is the kind of units I'm guessing that can link all very well, and this is what the best example I can give you of it at is. So, this is the team, it looks awesome. All of them are very, very strong, of course. All the guys here are very effective. Uh, of course, the real problem that I'm gonna have here is key distribution, that's what we were going with. But if I had Ultra Instinct Goku here, they would be all fine. I would have to replace one guy, which would be him, the Super Saiyan God Goku, and this team would effectively be well. So that's the team that I would go with as to what we were sticking with before. So uh, that's what I would stick with, obviously. So, uh, go tanks, there you go. So let's put back my hero team real quick here. <laughs> so that's that's what I was just trying to explain. So I'm gonna go ahead with my fist team. Anyway, so let's go ahead and play some Dokkan here. Uh, we're gonna do some events here for a little bit. Uh, I will be getting some Dragon Stones later. Uh, what I'm gonna do is one quick event here because oh I, actually let me show you the events that are here of course all the god the realm of gods ones of course which is the universe seven of god of destruction blazing fusion rose colored terror eternal god of worlds and suppressing even the gods uh that's a lot of great events to do of course there are some other ones here as well as you can do and many others that you can and if you want to you can do as well also i want to talk about dragon ball super a little bit because the episodes are getting very very intense uh the last episode we saw goku uh with Vegeta and Gohan fighting off Universe 3 as to the last episode we saw, which was them fighting them, obviously trying to eliminate them, but they couldn't. So at the end, if you guys seen the last episode, uh, Goku and friends uh, ended up not eliminating them. And then the scientist, or more or less the creator of those androids, I'm guessing here, or those fighters, ended up fusing the characters together and making a very big monster. All of them together, all of Universe 7 teams up to obviously defeat the monster because they have to take him and eliminate them. Uh, I'm gonna safely assume that this is gonna be a rough battle. It won't last long, I guess, but it's gonna be intense, obviously, uh, because of the story arc we're gonna go with here. And of course, that this uh, battle is gonna be intense, obviously. So hopefully we see some, uh, obviously some, some intense fighting scenes in there, of course, as well, but I know that the biggest problem that I'm, I'm more afraid of, if anything, is that Goku is exhausted. Goku is completely exhausted. He's been the one fighting, uh, I feel like, the hardest, and he is just literally out of energy. I think this guy hadn't had a break to breathe, if you will, if we want to go down that road. Um, 
he hasn't had a breath to breathe and i feel like this car this is gonna this is gonna play out into the series because obviously if you guys don't know um goku's been fighting i feel in my opinion the hardest fights you know having to fight jiren having to fight almost all of universe six uh team not really all of them more or less the strongest ones which is kefla and um and kale and kate and khalifa when they weren't fused obviously but it was it was tough man it was it was tough and i and i feel like goku's been putting putting the strain i'm not saying all of universe 7 didn't do anything they, they put in their numbers of course i'm not in any way disowning them or doubting them um but i'm just saying in my opinion goku's put in the most work and he's and he's really tired and my biggest thing is with goku being tired he's out of stamina like he said before he's out of energy he doesn't have the uh the strength to do it anymore you know but i know that he's always sur surpassed it you know he activated ultra instinct again when he fought kefla uh, the fusion of Khalifa and of course Kale and when he did that he you know he started mastering it a little bit and understanding how the power works you know in some sense of it all but of course we all know that he's going to surpass it even more when he fights Jiren one more time I know that Vegeta is going to end up fighting him as well but they're saying that it's going to happen in episode 122 and with 123 coming around the corner he's going to end up fighting uh Jiren at the end which is Goku between Jiren and of course the other two universe uh, 11 characters as well with Topo and Dispo so as well with these two characters I'm sure they're gonna get eliminated somehow by Vegeta or even uh, the Android or Frieza helping in or Golden Frieza helping defeat one of the two uh, to take them all out obviously but also guys if you guys haven't heard uh, of course I mentioned this before in the beginning of the video that Ultra Instant Goku is here uh, the category Realm of Gods is available as well to all characters which is with within the god level of power as you see here we can see ultra instinct goku uh i did use them a couple times through my friends but i do want this character so if they do reset to getting these tickets again that'll be great and i get another chance at popping at my chances at getting him or of course getting dragon Souls to get him which i probably will do in the end or i might do it on christmas who knows do a little special summoning video on christmas day or even on eve but i might not do it depending on on the situation because i want to spend time with my family of course uh, there are also some very good characters in here, like Super Gogeta INT, uh, INT Kid Buu, uh, Blue Goku K.O. Ken, Blue Vegeta, Blue Super Vegito, Blue, uh, not Blue, uh, Rose, Zamasu, Beerus, and of course, that's the list. And there's more characters in here, I, I, did, get a, I did get a couple here and there, but, um... Yeah, I'm guessing these ticket summons are gonna be available for a little while, but, uh, I guess, as well, they did say that if you did summon on these banners here as well, uh, this one here, if they, no, I think that they only have singles out for him. Or no, or, or the multis are in a different banner. If you do these summons available once, and then, okay, I get it, I get it. Anyway, so, that's what you can do here. Uh, I'm gonna do one more strike event here. See which one I wanna do with my fist team, because I did get frisky last time with my fist team. I'm starting to get used to using them a little bit more. Uh, of course, the type disadvantage is strength today, so, uh, tomorrow it's physical, so I might do some events tomorrow as well. Uh, I did do a lot of the uh, God of Destruction one that I did with my Fizz team, which did okay. I mean, it could have done a little bit better, I feel, but it, it is what it is. So, let's go ahead and do this real quick, guys. Uh, but also, like I said, hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic week. Uh, whole, another thing I want to say is happy holidays to every one of you guys. Of course, I know that you guys are going to spend it well with your family and friends. Ooh, there's one guy I have, who has the Ultra Instinct goku -san. Yeah, he is the 120 lead for categories. Attack and defensive dive into yeah he's, he's a rig wow I like this Kamehameha Breath Battle Godly Power over the Flash and First Awaken Rumble Gods this is the category leader for him that's awesome I love it of course I did mention that at the beginning so you know what uh you know what I'll I'll use him I'll use him I, I do want to show off a little bit of his uh, his abilities here oh he would fit so well with my IT team of course I know it wouldn't work because he, he, it's a category thing but. It's still INT is what I'm what I'm sticking with here, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick here, guys. And um, yeah, I like collecting some some of these uh, these training items as well. I do have some of the candies that we got last night from the uh, last login we did, which was the one we got the ten dragon stones uh, for the first uh, logins we did for it. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited, man. Like I said, Christmas is is, is coming in soon, in a couple days. But also, my biggest thing is. Um, I'm one of the big, I'm one of the people that complains the most about Blue Vegeta, and I'm not going to sit here in front about that because I want this card to come out 
for his transcend UR and for his LR art to show. Now, a lot of times when another LR comes for like JP, for example, people tend to get upset. And I don't blame them. I would be in that same position too. I'm, I'm, I am, I get furious when they get an LR. We have to wait for hours to come out, and it's such a long period of time. But again, uh, a lot of us do end up getting upset, which is my point here. Is what I'm saying. Um, but at times, we have to understand as well that you know us getting angry every time this happens, it doesn't help. You know, I understand the frustrations. I know a lot of other content creators are frustrated, like Rhyme Style, Nano, a lot of these guys that play global like they love global they love the japanese version as well and they invest a lot of money into these two games and i'm going to be the first one to tell you that they're they're you know dedicated to this game and i 100 respect them for that you know because i do love this game as much as they do you know because i i fell in love with it the minute my my brother introduced me to this game but when we heard about lr uh blue vegeto coming that was one of my biggest like I felt like that was one of the biggest gifts like Bond I could ever give to the community of Dokkan. Like I feel like that was one of the big ones. Like, yeah, they're finally giving us a really dope LR. That's uh, a category, possibly a category of of God Realm category. But again, I don't know. I don't want to assume anything until we can confirm that. But of course, there's another thing I want to talk about. Ultimate Gohan is coming to global. I I am blown away. They literally pretty much told Broly to take a walk and they're bringing us ultimate Gohan now I can there's there's people there are people saying that he is coming and it's confirmed but again I don't want to assume anything until I am certain this this has happened again DBC space I checked on there and uh, they did uh, did not English the character but I know that some of the link skills are in English so we're gonna possibly get him very soon maybe in the next month or so, or maybe after the Christmas event, or maybe this week, or after Super Saiyan uh, Ultra Instinct leaves, will we get him as well? So that'd be pretty insane. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so very much to, uh, for hanging out with me. Uh, very happy to see Ultra Instinct Goku here. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Ultra Instinct Goku, and of course, what you think is gonna happen for our good friend, the LR Blue Vegito, and as always, guys, stay awesome, stay blessed, keep playing Dokkan Battle. Also, guys, make sure to slap that like button if you want to join the Dokkan Hype Squad. And of course, last but not least, check out all my sponsors, check out Booster, guys. All great people, all discount codes in the description below. Code goes for all of great products from Jerky XB, from Gamer Crates, from your boys at Store Dog. Get yourself something for Christmas, guys. Christmas is right around the corner, boys. Get yourself a sweater, get yourself a shirt, get something fresh for yourself, man. And of course, check out Booster. Great anime, great content, great stuff, good people. Send them out there. Give them some love from your boy Ghost. And as always, guys, just stay blessed and keep playing that Dokkan battle.